didn't expect to come out standing here. So uh, I'll first off say how how much I respect Coach Tibbs and Coach Andrew as well. And uh, you know, it's it's tough when you, when you spend so much time with with uh, people, you know, on the road or just in general, and uh, then you see uh, you're not going to see those people as much anymore. That's a tough thing. So uh, I'm thankful for the opportunity though. And moving forward, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing, seeing you know, progress on the court and uh, helping grow this team. You've obviously been prepared for this for a long time. I mean, do you feel ready right now for this opportunity? Yeah, I, I think I think anything in life, you're, you're never you know you never know if you're ready until you're in, in the situation. But I have great support. I'm, I'm somebody who uh, tries to take things just day by day. I've, I've learned that. And I, I think that's important. And uh, just with a mindset of daily improvement, and that goes for players, but that also goes for myself. And uh, I look forward to the challenge and, and, and the internal challenge to uh, get better. Is there something, if you would have gotten this chance in Washington or Milwaukee or wherever else compared to this franchise right here, is this something special? I think everybody knows this is special. Yeah, this is special and, um, for a number of reasons. And, uh, but it's, uh, you know, I, I'd say in, in the current moment, it's, it's special because of the players. And, like, this is this is about, about the players. Um, it's special you know, that I have relationships with these guys. And uh, I've seen them, you know, a number of them I've seen them since they're teenagers. And I was thinking about that, uh, that earlier. And uh, to see the growth and then to see a, a position, maybe a position that, you know, you're, you're, you're not, you know, thinking you're, you're ever going to necessarily be in you know, at, at this time. Be in that position with these guys is a, it is a special thing. Right? Why can we expect any other appreciation? Yeah, you know what? It's um, I'm look, I'm looking forward to getting more with our, our staff. Um, that, you know, I, I want to be collaborative on things, and it's uh, you know, this ha it happened so bang 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 quick that, um, that I'm really trying to process everything and then also really just take things hour by hour right now go back through everything, but uh, moving forward, uh, you know, moving forward, you, you have ideas, you always have ideas when, when you're not in the position of, uh, you know, making the decisions, and then it's your chance to, you know, implement those ideas, so I, I got a lot of ideas, but it's, uh, you guys see what's best for the team. Uh, can you take these next couple months, like, try out for, for this new job? I'm just taking everything day by day, just like uh, life, everything's day by day. Uh, if you look at something as a tryout, I think that's when you start putting pressure on yourself or the situation or other people that just isn't isn't there. This is a I came to work at the same time, actually maybe a little bit earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get much sleep. Um, same time for the most part. Um, to put my, my work work in. Um, the only thing was I just spoke a little more in, my, in practice. But I'm, I'm still gonna continue to be myself with these guys and, and, and just Try to grow each day. Right. Right. Is there a million things you learned from your dad, especially specific to coaching? You know, one couple things. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of things that that uh, ran through my mind, and uh, especially with this, uh, you know, in talking with. Um, and actually, actually, the one thing that that ran through my mind too is, is Sid Hartman, because he always wanted to acknowledge Sid Hartman. At, and, uh, yeah, I know. I see him back there at, at, at press conferences. But he, uh, you know, it's the things that he, the life lessons that he taught. I think, and the, the basketball lessons. You don't necessarily know their lessons until somebody's gone. And um, I just look forward to trying to rejog my memory a little bit, putting those on paper, and maybe just throwing those out there. I think he, I think he'd tell me. To, keep, to go with Sports Center answers. That was his thing. You know, you gotta keep short answers sometimes with these things. Um, but, but two, he 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 told me he's been, he, he knew this was um, he knew this was a goal. Um, eventually, uh, maybe maybe he didn't think it would happen this soon or in this um, unfortunate circumstance. But uh, but he he took it. I don't want to qualify necessarily, especially at this point. Um, obviously, still trying to wrap my head around everything. Um, but, but you know, 
playoffs are always an aspiration for, for any team, especially with, with in the West where it is so, um, you know, so bottled up, you know, where there's there's opportunity for, for growth. Um, so my, my expectations are just that these guys just continue coming to work, and then the, the results that take care of themselves. Right, just important to see one of the guys grow in this program. What was their message to you? <laughs> Message of, you know, of, of respect for coach, um, obviously. Um, you know, and, and, but it was also it was also a message of support, which I'm, I'm thankful for. Um, so yeah, they, they, they were they were good. Right. How would you describe your relationship with some of these players? Some of these guys like attended your wedding, some of that just kind of the bond I guess you'd have with them. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a special relationship. Uh, communication communication is extremely important, obviously. Relationship. And, uh, I'm looking forward to, to growing that communication with these guys. Um, you know, because I really do think that you know, if you can get guys to, to really listen and, and really be, be in touch with you, um, then they'll be willing to do, do more for you. So, yeah, it is a special relationship, so it's, it's a. It's a, it's a, it's a right. How did your age kind of factor into being a head coach? What's the challenge of trying to get them to respect you on that on that level now that you're the head coach and the coaching assistant? Um, honestly, I, I've never thought of my age as, as a professional to me. Um, you know, for, for the simple fact that, you know, and obviously it's not working in business, but I grew up in business. I, I, knew, I, knew, this, I know how this stuff goes. I, you know, I used to, my dad used to watch film to three in the morning and I'd be laying on the couch just because I wanted to hang out and I'd fall asleep and just sleep there. So I know how these things go. I know it's a tough life. But so I never really looked at it necessarily as an age. I, I looked at it as I've been in this. These are just experiences that, that are helping me grow um, to eventually, you know, I'm, be the coach that I want to be. I'm not the coach I want to be. I don't think anybody's the you know in, in, in their current state is where they want to be. Um, you're always looking to get better. Last couple. Are there any specific things from tips, either good or bad, that you are using to inform the way that you are going to pilot this? Yeah, there, there's there's plenty of, plenty of uh, plenty of things that I'm, I'm navigating through right now. Um, obviously, plenty of things to pay for, and uh, we're really just trying to get thoughts together because, as, as I told you guys before, it's, uh, it's happened extremely unexpected in the past things. But um, but you know, I, I'd say. Is and putting the work in, you know, you do put the work in, and uh, you do, you know, need to be detailed on things. So. How proud is Last your mom, Ryan? Right? How proud is your mom? <laughs> she's, she's proud, yeah, she's proud. She, uh, she, uh, you know, it's been obviously a difficult time in, in terms of three years um, for the family, and, you know, losing, uh, losing my father. So, getting her to smile a little more is a good thing. Um, and she came over uh, to my house. Her and my wife were and I came home late last night. And, uh, she just wanted a hug and I uh, went home. Thanks, Ryan.